campuses, so Gold Coast, Coffs Harbour and Lismore. Has anybody been to Coffs Harbour before? Got family there? No? Has anybody been to Lismore or heard of Lismore before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I actually never heard of Lismore until I started studying at SEU. Um, so basically, with each of our campuses, so Gold Coast is the most popular one, um, our biggest cohort is nursing there. Um, it's a really, really great campus. It's uh, right next to the beach um, at Coolangatta and also right next to Gold Coast Airport. Uh, we don't have um, kind of accommodation there at the moment. We are working on it, but we have something what is called uh, uni stays. Um, so you can actually go to a local website and it'll help you find accommodation nearby if you're looking to relocate and go into a share house and things like that. We also have this mall that's more traditional style. That's actually the first ever established campus for SCU. So we do have on-campus accommodation, and it's also very popular for music and engineering and any of the creative arts. And Coffs Harbour as well. Um, I recently visited the Coffs Harbour campus this year because um, I was helping out at the graduation ceremonies for our events team. And it's a really great campus too. Um, it's very big as well, so Lismore and Coffs Harbour are probably the biggest ones. And it's actually home to our National Marine Science Centre that we partner with, which is pretty awesome. And then you've also got online study. So online study is a really great option for some of you guys that maybe would be kind of working a lot and you probably can't kind of find the time to go to campus and actually study on campus. So we've been doing online study way before um, the pandemic obviously happened. So SEU really knows how to do online study properly and it's a lot of flexibility as well. So pathways to Southern Cross, uh, obviously we've got previous study, so if you completed year 12, you've got a cert three or four or higher. Uh, you're preparing for success program, so it's six weeks fee free. Um, the name kind of speaks for itself, preparing for success. So really helping you with those tools to help you know, sort of prepare for uni. Obviously with essays and writing and referencing and things like that as us students it's obviously kind of something that's different especially when you go from high school to university the transition is a little bit different especially when you are writing a lot of those assessments. Southern Cross diplomas as well so we've got our um, business diploma and our sports and exercise science diploma which we'll talk a little bit more about soon and obviously the relevant industry experience as well so there's a lot of different pathways um, into Southern Cross, so there's not just kind of one proper way. What you can study. So does anybody know what they want to study? What they want to do? No? No one? No ideas at all? Okay, so we've got heaps of different degrees. So obviously I'm a business student. Um, so I did um, business subjects all throughout high school. I really enjoyed it. I also did law um, and that was something that kind of piqued my interest as well. I've just always enjoyed anything business related and a lot of my friends told me that I'd be suited for events because I'm very organised and structured and I like to plan things ahead and a lot of that I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to go into events and I'm going to try it and I absolutely love it. And we also have a bunch of different ones such as science and engineering, music and creative arts, law as well. Um, our law degree actually just got condensed to three years full time, which is something to sort of think about. We say to a lot of students, obviously, how long do you want to be at university for realistically? Um, a lot of health subjects too. So as I said before, nursing is our biggest cohort um, at the Gold Coast and social work and community welfare. So occupational therapy is actually a very um, kind of upcoming degree as well. Tourism, education, there's a bunch of different options and that's why I chose to come to SEU. So I'm not sure about you, Ivan, but with me, um, I actually wanted to get some relevant industry experience. So I did an internship at the beginning uh, of this year in my final year uh, in the events team. It actually led me to getting a job full time. So I help organise all the graduation ceremonies, conferences, board meetings, open days, anything to do with the university. Um, that's what I organise. So with you guys, obviously, you're obviously thinking a lot, and it's a lot at the moment, um, but definitely Southern Cross has a lot of different things to offer for you guys. Bachelor of Business and Enterprise, that is the degree that I'm in. It's three years full time, or six years part time study, Gold Coast and online. So like I said before, you can actually do a mix of both. 
So you could actually come into class on campus and do a class, or you can also do a class online, because uh, some of our tutors are also based in New South Wales, so they actually can't travel to the Gold Coast most of the time to actually do a class. So that is a really good online sort of flexibility option for you guys. Um, and also the next intakes to are October of this year and then February and July of next year. And a diploma of business, um, as you guys can see, uh, it actually takes eight units off your degree. So that actually shaves off quite a bit. Um, mainly because when you do um, a diploma or any type of um, Cert 3 or Cert 4, it can actually shave units off your degree, which means that you will actually graduate um, probably sooner or you can actually take some terms off depending on you know kind of what the best option is for you with your subjects which is really really great. I think yeah eight credits equals one year yeah. isn't it so yeah. it kind of brings it down to a two year degree. Exactly yeah which is really awesome so it shaves it down so at the same time you're basically kind of getting a head start for people that would do the degree three years full time. And then the diploma of sports coaching so that takes four units off. Um, and obviously entitles you to credit. So just saving you time and money, which is really great. So Bachelor of Sports and Exercise Science. All right. On. So that one, just like the business one, you can take up to three years if you study full time, or six years if you do part time, or if you don't study like me, you can take maybe four years full time. <laughs> um, so the good thing about this unit is that it's very broad with the things you can do. So you can just, do, just work as an exercise scientist or you can branch off into the masters, which we're not going to have the masters of exercise physiology next year, so it's going to turn into a bachelor's as well. But you can go into physiotherapy, but well, there's plenty of stuff you can do. I've seen people in my degree who are thinking of becoming a PE teacher as well, so if you're into education, you can mix up the two of them. Uh, just like she mentioned, you can use your um, certificates as well, so like me, I didn't do very well in school, so I wasn't eligible to do the bachelor's degree, I was going to get put into the diploma, but because I did my certificate three and four in fitness, I could use that to boost myself up into the bachelor's degree. Yeah, definitely. It's a really awesome course as well, sports and exercise science is actually one of our other really popular ones at Southern Cross, and our facilities as well, we've put a lot of money into the equipment, so we've got the exercise bike and you know, the heart rate monitors and things there's like that. There's a lot of equipment. Yeah, like, there's a lot. You've got the force plates, which is actually a plate with diamonds in the floor, and it costs like something like, I think it was $100,000. Mm -hmm. And That's what it does is if I stand on it and I jump up, it will tell me the force that I'm pushing out. Yeah, and we also um, conduct campus tours as well. So we actually take um, people who want to do a campus tour to the sports and exercise science laboratories. Um, so you actually can have a test of the force plate and have a look at the equipment, which is another really great thing as well. So if you guys ever did want to come to our campus, you definitely should because, you know, with me as well, um, obviously I graduated year 12 and then I actually went straight into university. So having those campus tours and that data actually look at the campus and feel a little bit more prepared and kind of where everything is. It's also impossible to get lost at our Gold Coast campus. I actually like to say that to a lot of people because it can be very nerve-wracking. Obviously, you're at a new place and you don't know where anything is, but that's the great thing, um, especially with the people that work at our university. We are really helpful and student services as well are really great. So, yeah, we definitely want to kind of have you guys be familiar with Southern Cross as an option. And there's something really cool I found out the other day from one of my teachers. Mm -hmm. The exercise scientist at Red Bull mm -hmm. actually studied at Southern Cross. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So you can go anywhere with this degree. Yeah, we actually have a lot of um, alumni at the university who have actually gone on to do really great things. I know I think um, someone was studying business and tourism and now they actually are involved in the Olympics, which is pretty, pretty cool, I thought. So yeah, live the Southern Cross lifestyle, like I said, um, we've got flexible study options, hands-on learning experiences, so with my internship, I thoroughly enjoyed it because it taught me that practical work experience that sometimes theory can't when you're sitting in a classroom and obviously, you know, you're writing assignments and things like that, so I really wanted to get that hands-on experience so I could put that on my resume and also open up those career opportunities for me, which it has. 
and industry connections as well. We always like to say to students, when you do go to university, ask questions. Like your lecturers and your tutors, they are so experienced, they want to help you, they want to help you learn. And the biggest thing that I got out of it was asking questions at the end of my classes if I was unsure because sometimes you think you know and then um, you actually get taught something else and then it just teaches you a lot more. So that's also something to keep in mind. We are rated five stars for student support. So careers and employability, our um, rate for graduates is 98%, which means that 98% of graduates get a job straight out of university, which is basically what you want to do. Um, when you apply for university, you apply to get a degree in order to get a job. So 98% is a pretty high number. Counselling services as well, so we're really good with making sure that we look after the well-being of our students and we also have student clubs, it's called Coasters. Um, you sign up for a dollar, I think it is, and you're able to, you know, kind of have more of that student experience on campus. And connecting students as well. University is a really good way to meet new people. Um, I remember on the first day when I was at university, um, it's amazing how you just meet people from different walks of life, even if it's just, you know, a small country town in Australia. Um, that's like, you know, three hours away from here. Like, it's just amazing the people that you meet and how when you go into a degree as well, you're going and meeting people that are like-minded. So it's actually really easy to make friends. Um, and some people as well, they just go to university because they want to study, they just want to get it done. But I found it really easy to make friends and I'm sure you did too, Yeah, it was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought it was going to be a loner there. But then <laughs> you just start talking to random people and everyone's pretty chill and friendly. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely a community feel on our Gold Coast campus as well. We are quite small, it's a vertical campus, so there's only three main buildings. So like I said before, you can't really get lost and at the same time too, you'll just be walking through campus and you'll meet people in class and then before you know it, you'll be partnered for group assignments and then you'll have friends before you know it. Um, Indigenous student support as well, um, we're actually quite renowned for that and academic skills support. So we have uh, academic workshops because I was taught how to reference during high school. I was taught how to do APA style, but then when I actually went into university, I had to learn how to do Harvard style referencing. I had no idea what it was. I didn't know there was another style of referencing you could do. So it's something where we're able to, it's completely free. So they're able to teach you how to do it. It takes about, I think it's 45 minutes class time and they just teach you how to reference, how to, um, structure an essay as well because um, it is a little bit different when you go to university so we have a lot of support services which is why we've been rated five stars pretty much. One thing to add to the employment stuff, mm -hmm. Southern Cross University is actually known to be a work hardened university so jobs are always looking to employ people from Southern Cross and these students have heard they even receive employment offers before they finish their degree. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, same with me. Like when I did my internship, I was offered employment because um, I graduate in four weeks um, and I was offered employment probably a couple weeks ago. So it was really nice to have that secured because that's kind of what you want when you're going to university to secure that employment as well. Okay, I was just going to say, most of them are doing diplomas here, mm -hmm. um, so they actually get a guaranteed minimum 82 ATAR. Yeah. That pretty much gives them guaranteed entry into the Bachelor of um, Business and Bachelor of Sports and Exercise Science with that ATAR. Yeah, which so. is really awesome. So, as well with the Bachelor of Business, um, it's such a great degree, especially because we've rewritten the whole degree to make sure that we've, you know, put majors in for everyone, so there's something for everyone. Um, so obviously I major in events management, so we've got uh, financial services, we have accounting, there's tourism and hospitality, entrepreneurship and innovation. And the great thing with the business degree is it can practically get you any type of career in business. Um, I did law subjects within my first year, I've done e-commerce, I've done marketing, I've done managing organisations, I've, I've pretty much done every single business subject under the sun, which is great because it sort of taught me what I liked and probably what I didn't like as well. I'm not the greatest at accounting, but I love doing you know, um, events and the more logical structures and managing a team and that sort of thing. I, I love that. So it really teaches you what you like and what you don't like and obviously a lot of those skills. Uh, what type of subjects do you learn in sports <coughs> and exercise science? There's a lot of stuff. 
even stuff that has nothing to do with sports, mm -hmm. like psychology. Yeah. You do work a bit on business, and then you got a bunch of subjects you learn about, like the anatomy, physiology. Yeah. Uh, you learn how to coach people, so you got motor learning I'm doing now, and that one's all about how people learn skills. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we look into that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot, and definitely too, you have your compulsory units, which is usually done in your first year, and um, that's sort of like your foundational learning, um, to sort of, you know, get you going with kind of what the whole degree is about, um, and then you've got your second and your third year, or your fourth year as well, for sports and exercise science as well, um, where you really start to specialise, and you can choose your elective units, which is really great. So you can actually sort of get a feel in the first year, and then when you go into your second and your third year, and so forth, um, you can choose to specialise, which is really great about the whole degree. So you're not just kind of given a set amount of subjects that you have to study. Um, it's kind of free for whatever you want to um, when you get to those second and third years. Um, so you can find the course on our course pages and click how to apply as well on our website. So you just register your contact details and you log into my enrolment. You pick your campus where you would like to go and your commencing date. So some people start right at the beginning of the year, which is around March, or you can start mid-semester, kind of depends on what your schedule is like and what you would choose to do. Um, and then obviously you upload your education and your relevant work experience um, to make sure obviously those uh, units are put towards credit for your degree. And then you submit your application, and then our admissions team will assess, and then um, we keep in touch with you via email. So it's a, it's a pretty straightforward process as well when you do apply to university. And two, so you can find out about your credit pathways on our website as well. Um, next campus tour, 6th of October at 1 and 3 p.m. Um, so you'll probably likely see us um, at the next campus tour as well. We also do Q&A webinars. So it also is for people who maybe can't make it to the campus, so it's probably a bit easier if you want to look at a Q&A webinar. We actually have um, a lot of our lecturers and industry professionals talk in these Q&A webinars about the different degrees to give you a little bit of insight um, as to what it's about, what they teach you, what they expect from you, that sort of thing. And then you're able to ask questions as well in the chat. Um, so they're really great. So you've got that on campus and also online version as well. So. Alright. Does anybody have any questions or feeling a little bit confused about anything? Or? Yeah. 